In the second day of training, you learned how to handle user and system events for pre-built Flex Framework components. You have also learned how to create MXML custom components. In this exercise, you learn how to create your own custom event types for those custom components. You will find that handling these events in the main application is no different than handling the pre-built Flex Framework events. As a quick review, here is the application you built at the beginning of day two. It has two date chooser components. I've chosen a date in April as the car pickup date. When I choose a return date, the application validates that the pickup date is before the return date. If it's not, it shows you an appropriate message. In the code, you created this functionality by registering a change event on the date chooser components, which calls the event handler function. By the way, you can hold down the control key and hover over the function name to get a link that will redirect you to the function code. When I click, I find the function code and you can see that function performs the conditional check to display the error message. This is the application that I will demonstrate in this video. Initially, it only displays the MXML custom component named choose on the left. The idea is that an administrator of the employee portal would access this page to select the employee of the month and write a congratulations message. When the administrator clicks on this preview button in the choose component, the application turns on the second custom component named preview. To allow the administrator to preview the display of the Employee of the Month panel for the Employee Portal. If you look at the code for this application, you can see that the Preview button is inside of the Choose MXML custom component. If I handle a click event on the button and generate an event handler, all of this code is still maintained within the Choose.MXML component. How do I send the fact that this button has been clicked in the Choose component? over to the preview component so that it knows to become visible. In this video, you will learn how to create an event type for your custom components. The event will dispatch from your custom component, the choose.mxml file in this case, to the main application, which will then pass the information onto the other custom component, the preview mxml file. This is the starter application for this video. You can see that the choose and preview custom components appear by default and that the preview custom component does not display any information about the employee of the month. You will learn about displaying this data in the next video. For now, I will focus on simply turning on the preview panel when the administrator clicks on the preview button in the choose custom component. In Flash Builder, let's quickly explore the code in the main application file. You can see that the main application file defines an HTTP service call to retrieve data from the employees.xml file in the data folder and then populates a class property named employee data with the return data from the server. The employee data object is then passed to the choose employee instance of the choose custom component. Note that the employee data object is named the same as the employee data property of the custom component. This is not required, of course, but is a common practice. Again, I can use the Flash Builder shortcut of holding down the control key to click code. When I do this for the employee data property of the choose component, Flash Builder opens up the choose.mxml custom component file and locates the property definition. I'm scrolling down to show you that this property is bound to the dropdown list control. That code logic is what populates this drop-down list control displayed in the application. Remember that by default, I want the preview custom component to be invisible. I have located that component instance in the main application code and am adding the visible property with the value of false. When I save the file 
and run the application, you can see that the preview custom component is invisible by default. I will trigger the application to make it visible again when a user clicks on the preview button in the choose custom component. There are four steps to create and dispatch a custom event. In your custom component, you will first define the name of the event type using the event metadata tag. The second step is to trigger and handle the user or system event. Next, you instantiate the event object and dispatch it to the parent component, which is often the main application. You handle this custom component event as you would any other Flex Framework event. In this case, I will modify the preview custom component. This illustration shows the first step. Within the Choose Dispatching component, I will use a metadata tag set to tell the Flex compiler that I am creating a new event type for the event class. Remember that you have encountered event types before. For instance, you have used the click event type for a button control and the change event for the drop down list control. In this case, I am using the event compiler directive to create a custom event type named show preview for the flash.events.event class. In Flash Builder, I am looking at the choose.mxml file. I am locating the metadata comment and creating a metadata tag block below it. Within the tag block, I am typing a square bracket ev to invoke the content assist tool and I am selecting the event directive. This adds the event directive to my code. I am modifying the directive so that the name of the event type is show preview. I am leaving the default flash.events.event class as the event type. The metadata tag block does not compile into the executable code, but it does register this new custom event type with the application in Flash Builder. The event metadata tag makes the custom event public so that the MXML compiler recognizes it as an MXML tag attribute. I am saving the files to maintain my changes. Remember that I just created this show preview event type in the choose custom component file. When I switch back to the main application and locate the instance of the choose component, I can press return and then control space bar to see the show preview event is now listed. It does not yet function, but the metadata tag has registered the new event type with the application. Back in the Choose Custom component, my second step is to set up the environment to dispatch the event. I mentioned before that I want the Preview Custom component to display when I click on the Preview button. So I will use a click event on the button control to run an event handler function. Here is the Preview button in the Choose Custom component. I am adding a click event to the button control and then using the generate click handler wizard to create the associated function. Remember that the function is named based on the button ID, in this case preview, plus the name of the event, in this case click, and the word handler. Here is the generated event handler function in the script block. Within the handler, the next step is to create an event instance of type show preview. In the choose component, I'm removing the comment stub and creating a local variable that I'm arbitrarily naming event object and data typing to the event. Remember that classes in the flash.events package do not explicitly need to be imported. They are available in the flash player. Next, I'm instantiating the object using the new keyword and calling the constructor for the event class and passing in the one required property, the type. In this case, the type is show preview, which is the custom type that I defined earlier in the metadata tag block. Now that the event object has been created, you need to pass it out of the component back into the main application using the dispatch event method. 
Within the event handler below the event object variable instantiation, I'm using the dispatch event method to dispatch the event object. Let's recap what I've done to create this custom event type. First, I created a new event type named show preview for the flash.events.event class using the metadata tag block. Next, I determined that I want to create the event when the user clicks on the preview button. So I registered a click event for that button with an associated event handler. Lastly, I instantiated an event object with the show preview event type and dispatched it from the custom component to the main application using the dispatch event method. The only thing left to do is to handle the event in the main application. I'm first saving my file to maintain my changes. You handle a custom event type for your custom components the same way that you handle any event in the Flex framework. When the choose custom component dispatches the show preview event to the main application, you handle the event by registering the show preview event with the choose component instance and running an associated event handler function. In my example, I will handle the click on the preview button in the choose component by making the preview employee of the month custom component instance turn visible. In the main application file, I have located the instances of the choose and preview custom components. Notice that their instance names are choose employee and preview employee of the month respectively. I am using code hinting to register a listener for the show preview event on the choose component that I added earlier. I am then using the generate event wizard to generate the associated function. I'm going to use the control click method to locate the method. Now I can delete the generated stub comment. I'm setting the preview employee of the month instance visible property equal to true. When I save the file and run the application, you can see that the preview component instance is initially invisible. When I click the preview button in the choose custom component, all the code that I just wrote will come into play. The click event for the button will fire and run the associated handler, which creates the new show preview event object that I created in the metadata directive, and then dispatch the object to the main application file, which as I click will make the preview custom component visible. The preview component is currently empty, but you will learn how to populate it with information about the selected employee from the choose component in the next video. For your next step, work through the exercise titled Creating an Event and Dispatching the Event Object.